as I was preparing tests and whatnot else for my Steam Deck review, I was thinking, hmm, what would be the worst, most unoptimized, hateful piece of gaming content that I could load up on the deck and would refuse to work or even explode it if I tried to load it up? Well, Arma 2, of course, yet it ran just fine. But then another piece of software came to my mind, and I was thinking, no, it surely cannot. So basically my morning was going rather normal. Took a shit, snorted some coffee, sat down to write bad jokes for Steam Deck review, and then I had an idea. Hmm. What if I make the worst joke of all times? Run Star Citizen on Steam Deck. Installation went about as you'd expect. Oh no. Oh no. Damn it! Oh no! Oh no! It's been quite a ride, yet it's surprisingly calm and functional. Yep, here we go again with the Star Citizen. Overall, the experience of running Star Citizen on a freaking Steam Deck has been, well, rather typical Star Citizen experience. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this is an experience. <laughs> Some stuttery mess in an optimized joke of a wannabe game, but most importantly, it worked. And you can manage uh, an experience. If you ever thought of what constitutes as unplayable, well, this is it. Now understand that this is not a testament to anything that Star Citizen does, but rather how well built and powerful this $500 device is. It genuinely keeps surprising me how much horsepower is in this admittedly low-end device. But still, it can run Star Citizen on a Linux nevertheless. This alone is an achievement. Basically, if you're wondering what kind of uh, experience you can have in Star Citizen, well, I'm in space where nothing really happens, you usually get most FPS there, and I'm seeing uh, 18, 17, 17, 18. Basically, that's your frame rate at the lowest settings and so on and so forth. So, um, not even console-like cinematic experience. But let's say you want to replicate my pain. What do you need? Well, Steam Deck, and one with about 100 gigs of free space. Preferably SSD, but that's not 100% necessary. If you want even more pain. See, Star Citizen takes up about 82 gigs, and the rest you'll need for the swap file. Basically, I tried all sorts of different things, and ultimately the solution was patience. I shit you not. So first things first, get Vine installed. Then get the installer for Star Citizen, run the launcher's installer and install it wherever. Then add the launcher's exe file as a non-Steam game to Steam itself. Open up properties and add this string in launch options. In compatibility, set it to launch on the latest Proton. For me, it's 37 and it works without any extra work on my part. So in the future, it should probably work with any newer versions too. And then launch the launcher. Install the game and this is where I got confused. It was showcasing checking files on the damn thing for so long. I thought it was stuck and quit it. But it's not, so there's where the patience comes in. Let it do its thing and boom, eventually... No need to do the old anti-cheat workaround or any other special moves. Currently, Steam Deck and Star Citizen versions play together quite fine. Now, you can also use Lotris for this. That way you don't even need a launch option step. Well, almost. There is one extra step for no matter which version you take. This is where you need to increase the swap file size. I'll leave a link down below for the Reddit post that helped me do this. But the funny thing is I ran out of space and only had enough for 11 gig swap file. But it seemed to be working, so I didn't mind. But there it is, in its shitty glory, the biggest, most well-funded retirement ho- I'm sorry, I mean, spaceship game in the world, right there in the palm of your hand.
In the end, this is a win for the malformed Arctic chicken operating system, emulators and translation layers that allow this birth defect laden program, the mighty star citizen, to function. Should you do it? Fuck no! Is it endlessly hilarious though? Yes! <laughs> But the lesson still remains. Star Citizen is an unoptimized, barely started 10 year bloatware that ain't coming out anytime soon. But when it does, Steam Deck 5 probably will manage to walk it. Or maybe even run it. Okay, okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But the point is, the experience is really still poor and it's really no way to experience something like that. But if you want to, you can, and that's so cool, that's how amazing PC Master Race is. There's no old gardens, there's no locked doors, it's just a little bit of know-how and endless possibilities. Oh, trying to make be real and it cra <laughs> crashes. Oh, I encountered an error. <laughs> oh, how ironic. All right, fair enough.